Yeah, we're going to take a look at two uh, most likely records that are going to fall. Uh, here we are, we're just a little over halfway through the month, and we've had so many triple-digit days. Look at the month of July set up so far. We've only had four days below 100 degrees, and two of those four days were actually below average. That was it, just two days below average. You can't keep an average like we have if you're going to be having temperatures that hot. So let's take a look at the records that are most likely going to be broken. Uh, first one, record number of 100-degree days. This is non-consecutive, just the flat out how many 100-degree days in the month of July. The record is 17 days set in 2003. So far, we've already had 13 days in the month of July. So we only need four more days. And look at the seven-day forecast, and we're going to make that. So how about 105-degree days? We've had a lot of days at or above 105 degrees. The record is 10 days set back in 1988. So far, we've had nine so we're already pretty close. All we need is just one more to tie it, and we still have a lot of month ahead of us, and we have some pretty hot days that could be ahead of us as well. So those are the conditions as far as those two records of 100 degree days and 105 degree days. But for the average July temperature, look at this. We're averaging over 104 degrees so far through the month. The average the for the whole month is 94. So again, if we have some cooler days, that can change. But right now, it looks like we have more heat ahead. So this is another area where we could end up having the hottest July on record. So that's what's going on with our record.